Hello, this is Averages Lesson 2. In this, I will continue with more examples on averages. Although concept is still the same, average is total by n. The objective of this video lesson is that you should practice with me online. So you have to first pause the video after looking at the question. Try to solve yourself. If you are not able to solve, then look at the way I have solved. And this is valid for each and every question of this video lesson. So first question is average weight of group of 10 students decreases by 2 kg when the new student with weight 42 joined the group and one existing student left the group find the weight of the student who left now again the one concept is there only average is t by n now initially the number of students are 10 but we don't know their average let's assume that their average weight was a so what was the total weight initially total weight was a into 10 that was total weight initially now a 42 kg person joined in let's add his weight and the person who left let's his weight is x kg he left now this is a total weight of new group total weight of new group this total weight can be calculated on the right side by this method a is equal to t by n the question says that average weight of group of 10 students decreases by 2 kg now average is earlier the average was a kg now this is average is a minus 2 kg what about number of persons or number of students? Number of students are still same as one person came and one person left. This is 10. So total weight is now A minus 2 into 10. So making this simple equation, you will get your final answer. This is again the total weight of all the students. This is 10A plus 42 minus X is equals to 10A minus 20. 10A and 10A get cancelled. You will get X is equals to 60. Two. that is option number fourth this is the fourth option 62 will be your final answer so you can solve such kind of question in less than a minute in your aptitude second question is the average age of group of friends is 39 years if eight new friends whose average age is 37 years joins them the average age of entire group becomes 38 how many people were there in the group initially now average age is 39 again we only know one formula average is t by n now we know that the average age is 39 years this is 39 years average but we don't know how many students were there let's say n students were there so what was the total age total age earlier was 39 into and that was total age of all the students what happened eight new friends with average is 37 what was their total age total age would be their 8 into 37 average into number of students so number of students were 8 their average was 30 that was their total age this must be equals to now this is the total age of all this total age of all can be calculated on the right side by a simple concept a is t by n now how many numbers of students are there earlier there were n students 8 student came so number is not n number is now a n plus 8 what about average average of the entire group new group is 38 so total age of new group would be 38 into n plus 8 solve it this is 39 n plus 8 into 37 how you multiply it? 8 into 30 is 240 plus 8 7 56 240 plus 56 you get 296 38 n what about 38 into 8 8 into 30 plus 8 8 into 30 is 240 plus 64 you will get 304 so 38 9n minus 38 8n n will is equals to 304 minus 296 n is equals to 8 so making a simplest of equation you can find the answer n is 8 option number 3 next example is average in scores by a best batsman who has played 62 innings was increased by 1 after an inning of 20, 126. Find the average runs per inning of the batsman before this inning. Now we don't know how, how what was the average initially. We don't know innings. So average is T by N. So we know number of innings was 62 initially. But we don't know what was the average runs of that batsman in 62 innings. So let's assume that average was A. So total runs by that batsman was 62 into A initially. Now he made 126 runs. Now these are total runs of total runs in 63 innings. 62 innings total plus 1, 126. This one total runs of 63 innings can be calculated on the right side 
by the same concept average is t by n the number of innings are now 63 the question says that after scoring 126 his average increases by 1 so average is not a average is a plus 1 so total runs now are a plus 1 into 63 solving this you will get 62 a plus 126 is equals to 63 a plus 63 you will get a is equals to 126 minus 63 a is equals to 63 it means that his average runs in 62 innings were 63 that is your answer option number 2 next is these are different kind of questions that i am discussing these are variety of question although concept is same but variety is different that's why i'm discussing this question the question says that in an office the average salary of all the employees is 8000 average salary of 24 executive is 12000 others is 6000 now find the total number of employees in the office now we don't know initially how many employees were there so again we only know one concept average is t by n total of all divided by number of observations we know that average salary of all employees is 8000 but we don't know how many employees is there let's say tot initially total employees were n so total salary of all employees would be 8000 into n this is a total salary of all employees total of all total salary of all employees this can can be calculated on the right side also given that the average salary of 24 executive is 12000 now what will be the total salary total salary is average into number of employees so number of employees were 24 executive was there their average salary was 12,000 this is total of executive total salary of executives now given that that of others now total number of employees are n out of this 24 are executives so how many others are there others are n minus 24 if you add n minus 24 plus 24 total number of employees will still be n now this n minus 24 this is the number of employees but their average salary is 6000 that will be the one simple equation that will be formed now please don't multiply 12000 into 24 we have a method to solve this equation in a fastest way so multi divide this equation by divide left this equation by 1000 divide this equation by 1000 what you will get 8n is equal to 24 into 12 n minus 24 into 6 i have divided left side as well as right th right side by 1000 it will not change the equation 8 n is equal to 12 into 20 or how to calculate faster manner first multiply 12 into 20 240 plus 12 into 4 48 240 plus 48 288 6 n minus 24 into 6 144 so we will get 2 n is equal to 144 and n is equals to 72 it means that total number of employees in our organization is 72 option number 2